Hello and welcome back to this very special episode of The Vibe because we have with us an absolute pioneer in music, DJ Jazzy Joyce. We are so honored to have you. So here. honored, seriously. You are. <laughs> Thank you for gracing us with your magical presence. <laughs> yes. Feel the energy. I know. I know. We already had some great topics to talk about. So tell us you. how did your music career, career start? Uh, what did you, where did you, you start with everything? You've yes. been like a, you know, you've worked so hard and for so many years just like kind of like this grueling process of becoming like this amazing DJ. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did that... You made history and you were saying that you didn't even recognize it, you know, until <laughs> now. Yeah, until so now. Tell, what does that feel so like? first and foremost, I'm born and raised uh, in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So everything about hip hop was right in front of me, mm -hmm. by birthright of where I was, where I came into this world. Mm -hmm. um, that was the reason, everything in front of me that I saw, it was bad, it was crack era, it was graffiti on the trains, it was all of these things about the Bronx and the music part of the culture was what I focused in on and focused on to get through the All many stuff. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was something good to focus on. And then everything, all the other elements I saw, yes. which is the graffiti. Mm -hmm. um, then the MC existed because the DJ was there. Yeah. And then the break dancing was part of it. Oh, so, yeah. wow. so it back then. It kind of became art to you, you know? Well, it was just, it became something positive to focus on despite everything that was going, going on. Going on negatively. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where did you start with everything? What was your first um, big career? Like your first project, career? yeah. yeah. Um, my first gig, I was 13 years old. What? Yeah. What? And my mom had to... <laughs> Can you remember what I was doing when I was 13? Uh, Probably not the Eating cool pizza that. at yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, like I said, I didn't know, I, I, we didn't know we were making history when we were doing what we were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, my first gig was at this club called the Earth's Edge. At 13, mm -hmm. you were doing your first gig. Oh my gig. God. What? How That's did you insane. get into the club as no, my God? <laughs> the club owner was clear. He said, she can DJ because she's awesome, but yeah. she needs a parent. Oh. Right. Because there's alcohol. Yeah, of course. yeah. So my mom took me to my first gig wow. and the rest is history. Wow. Nice. So your mom really, did she support you with the? In the early, in the early stages, yes. Yeah. All my life, I mean, your mom is your mom. Right. Yeah. You know. They, right, but not yeah. all moms are supportive with yeah. their career, with their daughter's career roles, especially like DJing. It's something True. like That's you don't see I mean, that was so doing. new, right? That was just a I, I didn't know I was going against the grain. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. It just felt I mean, natural to you. It just felt like I don't want to do whatever all that stuff. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and do this. Right. Yeah, and it yeah. obviously paid off. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been working so hard and doing so many amazing projects. Could you tell us like about one project or one collaboration that you've done over the years? One of the major collaborations you could call it is my experience on Hot 97 when I was on the show with. Um, Angie Martinez. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's big. And Coco Chanel. That, yeah. that was a collaboration. Because <laughs> it was a risk. At, at, the, at the time when I got the opportunity, it was presented to me. Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you took it. Right, but imagine yeah. if I didn't take the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Where I don't want to work with, you, you know. I would have probably, what if they only two, the two of them went ahead and did, and did it. it. And I knew that I had that opportunity. I often wonder if I would have been tortured for, by, you know, just for not thinking taking about that risk. Yeah, mm -hmm. the part of part of my longevity mm -hmm. is crowned by making good decisions. Yeah. yeah, that's all it is. It's it's and using my instincts to decide: Do I want to get do that? With it? Yeah. yeah. Do I want to mm -hmm. get into that? Right. Do I want to put myself? It's a in shake this? of the dice because right. I could have mm -hmm. I could have gotten with it. Yeah. But, and it man and it never manifested into what it became. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And so now you've been traveling cities and states because of your career. That's awesome. Huge collaborations. Yeah. Yeah. Where you Country. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Shouts to Bebe. It's, it's my honor. I was introduced to Bebe by a young man out of Jersey by the name of Zenoff Star. Mm -hmm. And once I met Bebe. It seems like we've known each other way longer than we do. 
and I and I'm sure once you get the chance to talk to her, you'll understand why mm-hmm. our <laughs> energies are great together. Because yeah. I just. Is it much more than just music at that point? Yes. You find this kind of bond between someone that you You didn't even know. You can hear it as I speak Mm. of her. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it and see it. So shout to baby. (laughs) (laughs) So as have you like have you given her tidbits of knowledge, you know, over the years that you've been in the industry? Is there anything that you should have asked that question to her. I don't know what I've given, you know, what. Yeah, you just kind of, you yeah. don't know when you have inspired someone, yes, I guess. Yes, exactly. Yeah, even so. just sitting with her for a few moments, mm-hmm. I, are, I, always, I already feel this positive energy. Yeah, no. Nah, it's, it's hard to trust your gut, you know, to make yeah. that big decision yeah. like that. Did, and you have, any, you have like an agent or a manager to help you? Or did you was like your mom you? kind of like your um, helping there, point? There was times when I had management and then there was times where I was just making smart decisions mm. yeah. on my own. Mm-hmm. It's, there was times where management just didn't work. Yeah. No one's going to want for you what you want and need for you more than you. That's yeah. true. That you is know. a good quote. Cool. Wow, yeah. that is, yeah, that you've nailed it on the head. That was, uh, that's so true. You think that you could just put your hands in, or, or put your career in someone else's hands, mm-hmm. that they're gonna push as hard as you. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, you're the only one that's gonna be focusing on what's good for you oh, yeah. and have that. And I, I wanted to kind of talk about, you were talking about how music is a universal language. Yeah. About, just you know, no matter we all are from different. Even though we're all from like different we're all from in, we're all um, from South Asia, but we're actually all completely different cultures within South Asia. I yeah, so like it's, it's sitting, really cool. Yeah, so yeah. Listen, sitting, if I was doing a party in your region, I would yeah. do a study. I like when I come into a place, place uh-huh. yeah, yeah. you don't really I, know. Right, I still can be amazing, mm-hmm. and my ultimate thing would be to have. A you drop like no a, making y'all drop uh, it like it's hot like uh, uh, oh, oh throw God, I could do your, that I could do that like, <laughs> all right <laughs> what is a song that you grew up on mm, let me see I grew up well actually not to name drop but my <laughs> uncle is a, a Bollywood singer mm. so he came out with this song Sovereign and it's just always been in my family right so we've we've always supported it and then it became larger later but like. It just it, it filled my soul. It was filled with tabla music, which is you know very common in in it's my like part of drum, India. You know, like it's like two drum drums sound. that you play with your hands. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And Similar. like that's something like that their cultures have less of, for example. So yeah. you know it's interesting. But now it's very much like it's crossed over. It's come. Yeah. It's infiltrating and yeah. influencing y'all. You see how it's interesting. Yeah. There are no and lines when it comes to music. There's no divide. Right. You know how we yeah. divide with everything else. Yeah. Music seems that is to just be like, like a mix of genres and like different fusions yeah. together. What song did you go for? Um, that? I really didn't listen to like my culture's music. Okay. So I'm more Americanized. I've listened oh. to like a lot of. But still, <laughs> so, that's, so how that's do still... they? How do? How is that for you? Like when you're at an event? Or... Well, when I'm at an event, if it's like a wedding, mm-hmm. I know the music because I've grown up with it. So I know how to clash and like go in with it yeah. and dance to the different moves that yeah. they have. All right, hold on. Sorry, not to cut you off. No. You, you answered that real quick. <laughs> yeah. You're what, Indian wedding? For the yeah. Indian, Indian and like Indian. my culture, I'm from Bangladesh, so oh. Bengali and Indian are similar weddings. Wow. Yeah. They, yeah. The process looks so beautiful. <laughs> like it looks the color, so honorable. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a so, seven day process too. It's like here weddings go by in like two days and then it's like, okay, see so yeah, yeah. But yeah. We it's like, like there's really like a crap. week just dedicated to like these two people, you yeah. know, connecting. Let's go wedding crash. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's wedding, wedding crash. crash. <laughs> yes, let's crash. Look, you come on. That's so crash. true. We'll, we got to crash the wedding. Yeah. You'll be the DJ. Yeah. Yeah. You take over the DJ yeah. booth. Like we'll just swarm in. It'll be like I gotta have you for my wedding. Hell yeah. Have you got, look, when the wedding party <laughs> oh comes through, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. no, 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 no,
What? Like, You're paying what? what? Yeah. <laughs> it's always the money that gets you to go do that right. job that you were afraid of to do. I'm dying right now. And decent proposals, I, I no, guess. That like, is so, so yeah. funny. The scene with, yeah. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> what I'm saying oh is gosh. how money can make people yeah. change their mind. Yeah. But, it, yeah. but I still kind of don't like doing them. Yeah, you I mean. Me, you want me to tell you why? Yeah. Why? Because it's such a large demo that you have to take mm. care of. Right. From you gotta five every years single old to the to yeah. the oh, to the person. lady, the OG grandma or <laughs> yeah, grandpa really that hard. put that check. Oh my god. She's whispering constantly. She's like, like, I didn't yeah, ask so for those no. music. That's what is she playing right now? Yeah. yeah that's yeah. So true. Because they pay those are the people who pay Yeah. Wow, I never I see yeah. that's a whole but, different thing that I never thought yeah. about. Like what the I was like, isn't it don't you just like press play? Like, I know, so I know for so a fact many that things. when my mom is at a wedding and she hears this new music that every other youngin knows, she's like, what is this music? <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you dancing? What's this noise? I yeah. don't understand. But a yeah. talented DJ can come into that room and make every single person happy. Mm -hmm. That's but it's true. too much. And when it's I want to just pressure. be a beast, because let me tell you what beast mode is. Yeah. <laughs> 18 to like 30. Mm -hmm. huh. Party. Yeah. The crowd, no, yeah, the crowd, the crowd, crowd, crowd. The energy yeah. is right, right. Yeah. It, that, and it's that's all I have to serve. Yeah. Serve, wow. you know yeah. What I'm saying? That's, that's small. <laughs> that's that's right. why I didn't like doing. That's very it. Yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah. But you're talking about like earlier on in your career how you used to you know say no to some things, but. I would just like to touch on the fact that you were actually in in your early career you were you know DJing at a time or even making strides in the music industry when it was hard for you, you have like a couple of things going wrong for you which is you're colored and you're a woman you know it's that's not even so wrong many, it's like one of those it's things that's you the know thing what I mean? that our world is like against right now yeah, yeah. yeah. so right. you did that at a time where it was really? even tougher you know, now we're a little liberal over here but you know <laughs> but before back then it was like everybody had like this certain there were hatred. all these bad yeah. Uh, yeah. connotations or there's this just this bad energy towards yeah. strong female women that yeah. wanted to do something that wasn't and colored women in general and colored yeah seriously yeah. so <laughs> i mean i was like you, the two biggest yeah things. like the fact that it, it, you you worked so hard and you probably inspired so mm -hmm. many people in your path Mm -hmm. I just got to give you kudos to that because yeah. it was a hard time. Yeah. And it's still, I mean, it's still, it's we're still, still a working hard time. It's still, a, it's still, a, I think, um, I, we, not I, but everyone who was a part of the hip hop culture in the, its early stages yeah. and push, pushing it through, mm -hmm. as I've said time and time again, we did not know we were making history. Mm -hmm. So now the paths that we have laid are the foundation for the look back mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the compares, compare. So it's kind of like, okay, we know the potential and we know, now they know how to For pimp it, it yeah. manipulate <laughs> it, control it, stop it, push it, whatever they yeah. want right. to do. Wow. So, but back then they didn't know, they didn't, so it's like, um, they're just watching us for yeah. yeah. but they don't realize, they didn't, the, the effect of the cause. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Didn't come till late. And they're like, oh my God, they influenced, they did yeah. all that. Yeah. Oh, we gotta stop that. <laughs> we gotta get on, there. We we gotta get on board. We gotta yeah. follow them. Either, either we gotta get on their board on or board. Or beat or we them. Gotta, we gotta yeah. bring or them down. De demolish, wow. demolish them. <laughs> I just yeah, like, I mean, harsh. that kind of, it kind of um, makes me wonder, because I'm always like, oh, how much change can I do? Or like, how many things can I really push forward? But it's so true. I mean, if you had that mentality, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have done the great things that you yeah. have when done younger, and accomplished. Yeah, when I was younger, there was n there were very few people around the world DJing, period. But yeah, then, yeah. let alone a female. Female and yeah. someone yeah. who's, you know, of the minority. Mm -hmm. Well, I also want to touch on, like, what do you think about, like, the modern way of DJing and how it's not now on a laptop? Like, do you well, I don't mind because I was carrying crates back then, and I had to pay Ooh. gentlemen to carry crates. Right, so you were so doing now it's like the easier. real thing, and now yeah. people are just kind of like bandwagoning. Also, how do I feel about yeah. that? Yeah, do you think like um, like your hard work and what you put into DJing is like the same as someone who's just like has a laptop with like their music out? Like, I don't think anything of it because <laughs> I think it's, it's the day the and age, right? The evolution of, of technology. The, yeah, of technology, like. 
Have you kept uh, up with all that stuff? Like absolutely. now you're, you're definitely. Absolutely. I'm not one of the mature individuals <laughs> that are not tech savvy. Yeah. I'm very. I'll because, with it. Yeah, no. I'm, you got to be if you want to succeed. It and you want to stay in the game. It was a point where I was like, but then someone came to me and said, you're not going to break it. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. That's harsh. <laughs> no, but the computer, when you think about the computer, yeah, you're like, you're, oh, I'm gonna do it's ap you're apprehensive mm -hmm. to, to take that whole idea on. But yeah. because I was born when these machines were being created, yeah. Yeah, it's a right. different understanding. But I, I would like to have a discussion with a young mind who was born with it being created mm -hmm. again. Yeah. I mean, with it already being created, because yeah. they don't understand there, well, there's not a lot of critical thinking mm -hmm. anymore. Everything is very fast paced. I mean, Everything it's so instantaneous. Like these kids have iPads now, like when the, in the cradle, you know? Yeah. And, the, and I've noticed that like kids lack patience. Now that, you know, mm -hmm. now you can touch something and it's on. You know, press play and you got, you got all Spotify. You got all of the music that you'd ever want. Before you'd have to wait for that CD mm -hmm. to come out. You'd have to wait for things to like like an start album, yeah, like yeah, a hard you know? record. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. the yeah. records. And the whole imagine understanding that a record came out in the physical sense, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and I'm in New York. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to know and kind of figure out. Okay, I'm DJing in Tokyo in about two weeks. It takes the record about a week to ship there. Mm -hmm. wow. How long is it? Will wow. my audience know it? These are the these are the wow. things that in the now thought you literally no, share no, no, it no, and no, it's no, there it's in, yeah. in the world. Everyone has it in their no. fingertips. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, you're like blowing my mind right now. Oh, <laughs> like the thought yeah. process. Yeah. Perspective. And these are, yeah. You know, but how you pre-think and prepare. Yeah. Wow. For whatever it is that you're doing, I'm giving you a glimpse in the thought process of a real professional DJ. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. If they're going. Not someone who just has the technology and yeah. like, I'm gonna get this money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is like everyone nowadays. So much right? easy to carry crates, Culture. girl. Who cares? Yeah. I'm out here popping. I'm killing <laughs> it. Put your hands up. Yeah. Oh my god. Put them up. I don't Thank like those you girls. Yeah. so much, this was Jazzy amazing. Joyce. You Thank are you. amazing, and you've definitely inspired us. So yeah, I would just love to you. just. We're talking. Talk to I know. Yeah. yeah. After yeah. this little break that we're gonna yeah. have, we're gonna stay tuned. But thank you so much for being on the show with us. Yes. It's the view. The vibe. The, the vibe. vibe. <laughs> <laughs> <I love> you. <laughs> Chris Redwood. <laughs> Chris. Uh, easy. Very easy tree. Chris. What's, what's a Christmas Chris tree? Chris Evergreen. Christmas tree. Chris Evergreen. Green. Chris Brown. Chris. 